Hi all. In this video, let's see few things to know as a React JS developer. So below are the things we need to will be explaining one by one. So the first point is why to separate the React and React DOM package. So let's see that. So we use React package. So this React package consists of all the component lifecycle state and uh, a use effects. Everything consists of this React in this React package. This is a core package. So whereas coming to this React DOM, we use this React DOM only once in the index.js file. This React DOM will help us to mount our component into the DOM. Uh, in fact, it uh, behaves as a bridge between the React and the DOM. Fine. The reason why we need to differentiate these two packages is React Native. When the React Native is arrived, React Native is a mobile development platform. So when it arrived, so uh, this React will be used by both the web and also the mobile development. Whereas the React DOM only we use in the web development. So that's the reason. If we include this React DOM in the React, it would be overhead for the React Native web development. This package becomes overhead for that React Native development. So that's the reason React team has su separated out this React DOM because this React DOM only we use in the web development. It acts as a bridge between the React and the DOM. So that's the reason we uh, React team has separated out the React and React DOM packages. So this is all about the first point. So coming to the second point, why we need to give the unique keys for the list list items in ReactJS. ReactJS, in ReactJS, we need to give the unique items for the list items because React it will order all the elements, all the list elements. If any of the element is added or removed or uh, we need to do any of the reorder. So if we, React has any unique keys, it would be very much easier and faster for React to do that. If we use the same index like this, if you use the same index, which is by default, the map is providing. So if you use this type of indexes, it doesn't help React much because this index is a unidirectional. It means it would be in an ascending order 0, 1, 2, 3. The, if you give list items the order of this index, it, 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 it React will perform in negatively. It takes more time for React to do the uh, things because if any item is added or removed or reordered, React needs to adjust this index for all the elements. So that's the reason don't give this index in the as a key. Use the data dot IDs. So you need to use some data. Uh, I mean, in the response, you need to get some response. And in that response, you need to use those keys as a unique keys. In that case, React can easily, if we, these keys are unique keys, and then React can easily remove any of the keys or add any of the keys and re rearrange the order of the items as well because there is no need to rearrange the indexes again. So that's the reason React needs the unique key. So if the list is static, then you can use this index. Static in sense you, you don't want to add, remove or reorder any of the items, then you can use this index. And also don't use math.random. So you know, to generate the unique keys, don't use math.random because these keys are unstable keys, math.random keys. So uh, in that cases also React would be uh, having a negative performance. So this is all about the second point. So coming to the third point, when you're trying to pass any of the props, usually we used to pass the props in this way. So fine, if you pass the props in a string, that's fine. But if you're passing a number, within the string, then it, it may occur some uh, miscellaneous uh, errors. Because uh, if you are using this prop, and if you are doing any of the mathematical operations on this prop, so this is considered as a string, but you are using this as a number. You need a number, but you are passing the number prop as a string. And here, if you do any mathematical operation with this prop, it would concatenate instead of addition. So that's the reason be careful when you're passing a number as a prop, don't use a double double quotes as a string. Pass them with the flower braces. So if you're passing a number as a prop, use them with the double uh, flower braces. So thereafter, if you use any mathematical operations in the component also, there won't be any problem. 
so this is all about the third point so you need to pass the numbers in the flower braces not as a string so hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more video